Hello. This video is going to get a bit uh, weird as usually when I draw um, insects, I tend to focus on the body and the legs and not so much uh, wingspans. But I'm making this video because I really like the view of this uh, Luna Moth. And I guess you could say, um, I can't always say this, but generally whenever I see moths or butterflies in uh, art, their wingspan is always in focus because it appears that that's always the uh, beautiful thing about them or what many people would consider the beautiful thing about them. <laughs> and they tend to get freaked out by the, uh, the actual bug below the wings. <laughs> so um, I will try to label the parts as I go or some of them. So to start off, I'm going to um, I'm gonna draw the head, which I'm, it's gonna look a bit weird because I'm drawing through uh, multiple things and the wings kind of obscure a good portion of our Luna Moth. So to start off, I'm gonna focus on the ball of the head. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going to draw the uh, thorax. And the thorax is like right here. I mean, we can't see the head, so I just drew that. We got a thorax is this uh, big thing right here. Whenever you look at um, moths or butterflies, I feel like it's sometimes difficult to tell, you know, where does the head begin? Where does the thorax begin? Where does the uh, abdomen end? And I guess you could say um, they are all there, but it's sometimes a bit difficult to uh, see them. And if you're wondering why the confusion... Um, a look at a caterpillar, like a caterpillar definitely has a head, definitely has a thorax, definitely has an abdomen, but it's very hard to tell where one begins and where it ends. <laughs> I mean, maybe not the head so much, but when you look at it, um, that's kind of a bit of an issue, I would say, but they're all there. And uh, that really makes you a question about the chrysalis, if you are wondering about that, you know, the intermediary stage when, uh, when they're in a cocoon, effectively. I guess I should have made a bulge out a little bit more. But yeah, this is the thorax, this is the head, this is the abdomen. It does become a bit difficult to see based on the perspective. And we're also drawing like a top view. So like I was debating whether I should draw a uh, thinner oval to uh, represent the uh, abdomen. But now that I look at it again, I should have made it a bit more like that. <laughs> it seems like it's a bit of a predicting game more than anything. Now I'm also going to draw uh, gestural lines for the antenna. And the antenna on this Luna Moth, they look like leaves. I find that uh, really, really interesting. In my opinion. Yeah, it looks like they're just a bunch of, it looks like a, looks like a stick with a bunch of branching out leaves. I will get back to that, but um, I wanted to focus on the uh, gesture layer still. So now um, we have the wings, <laughs> which whew, it is quite the uh, challenge to draw them. Um, I think if I was going to start out, I'm going to try to draw them a bit general, just to kind of summarize them. And I am going to try to, uh, you know, before I do that, I'm looking at the uh, top here, 
you know, there are the wings, and then there's this uh, connecting thing that kind of looks like it goes a bit, it like wraps around the thorax before it uh, spreads out to the wings. I mean, granted, all the wings are connected to the thorax, but there's like this uh, certain cover that I wanted to uh, focus on, and it really bulges out as it wraps around the form. Well, it's very close to the head. It looks like it even covers a portion of the uh, head. And maybe even more than I uh, drew. So I drew that line, I'm gonna draw another one. And the purpose of those lines is to uh, give me a little bit of a starting point before I uh, try to focus on the other parts. Now, sometimes in other videos, I would try to uh, quickly do something like that. And I think that does work. I could have been more careful and I could have tried to break it out into a smaller sections like that as it wraps around the uh, thorax. But do note that it's not wrapping around the entirety of the uh, thorax. They do have like specific little areas on their body where the uh, wings will attach to. And you'll also notice that there's like a little bit of a gap area right here. It doesn't really just connect directly over the ball. It's um. It's very specific. And I think I may have underestimated it a little bit. I think like that. So apparently uh, these wings are the uh, four wing. Okay, now I'm going to draw the other wing And yeah, I'm doing it a bit more uh, general. Like when you do actually look at the wings, they have these, um, they have these like very subtle sections. They kind of go a bit like that, although they're very, very fine. And I think I may have curved that a little bit more than I wanted to. So the other thing is you could always try to uh, build these out in more sections than, um, than I did. You don't always have to execute it in one go. Okay, we did the four wings and now I want to draw the uh, hind wings. The disappointing thing about the hind wings is that uh, to an extent, some of them are a bit hidden. Oh, also I wanted to show you like um, a little bit about like, you know, there are these uh, various sections to the wings. They're not as um, simplified as I drew them. I will touch upon that again in a little bit. But yeah, the wings, um, it seems like they also have a little bit of a, sorry, the four wings have a bit of this extra little layer that kind of extends off them a bit. So I was focusing on this area before when I was doing the structure, and I wanted to touch upon that again, because it's kind of like they uh, bow out a bit before they connect to the end of the wing. I should have made it a little bit longer. But they do uh, get thinner as it goes, and I think I made it a little bit too thick. I could try it one more time. Kind of like that. Sort of like that. <laughs> okay, so now for the hind wings. 
Some of the hind wings are covered, it appears, by the uh, forewing, which is a bit frustrating. But um, I say you try to draw what you can see. And I wanted to uh, maybe start off by kind of doing these two lines. Or not lines, but... Because they come back and the connection is very subtle, but there's like a gap between them. So you'll see what I mean. And I think establishing that gap first is probably more important before uh, moving on to the other segments. So I drew those segments. Now I want to kind of try to do this. And the important thing is um, the hind wing. It's behind the forewing here. This is the hind wing. So it makes seeing the full story a bit more uh, complicated. And it kind of looks like uh, a portion of this Luna Moth's uh, hind wing is missing. Perhaps it lost it in some battle. Or something took a chomp out of it. And I have seen that quite a few times. But you know what? I kind of messed it up. Just got it over here. Yeah, some bug must have. Or I don't know if it was a bug. But um, something clearly took a good old bite. Sorry, I keep underestimating the uh, bite. I'm trying to like make uh, sense of it. Something along the lines of that. I could have tried to summarize it like that, but I don't think I should have. So at this point, I want to touch upon the antenna. And yeah, the antennas are kind of like, um, they look like leaves, but the important thing is they have like all these very small lines that kind of fan out. It's very uh, subtle, so do be aware. And I tend to not focus on the fine detail when I uh, make these videos, but heck, I thought I would try it. And there are so many of them. It's um quite impressive. And it's important to like keep in mind the uh, you know where it gets fatter along the antenna, where it kind of thins out. Because there are areas where it does thin out a bit more. Like there is a peak area where it's probably the largest. But then it gets uh, shorter again. The other interesting thing is uh, the right antenna kind of is a bit behind the uh, other one, <laughs> which I kind of underestimated the right side of the antenna a little bit. I'm trying to glaze over that a little bit. And perhaps I should have added a little bit more thickness to the antenna. I kind of made the antenna or the initial uh, mid-rib connection area 
um, just a single line, but perhaps I should have made it a bit of a thicker line on two sides, but very fine. Okay, now that I look at it again, um, a quick mistake that I did was I made this antenna a bit too far. And I'll show you what I mean. I should have been thinking of it more. I should have been comparing the uh, mid-rib lines more than anything, but I realized I really didn't. Because when you look at them, both antenna on this uh, Luna Moth's head, they're very close together. And I kind of did a poor job at uh, showing that. Okay, so back to it. There's a lot of subtle detail. Okay. So now, and I don't like to go into detail too much, but if you look on its wings, there are these uh, individual structures that go as like pretty much making up the, uh, the wing. And I'm seeing all of these uh, curved lines that go and make it up. And they always appear at, a, it looks like certain areas where the ridges kind of um, make up another one. Although it's a bit hard for me to tell. I'm probably not doing this uh, justice. Hence why I tend to avoid drawing any little bit of detail. There are also these eyes. I mean, all I could assume is that these are to deter predators. I mean, they look like eyes to me. And it looks like the ones on top are more thin than the eyes on the bottom. I do find that um, quite interesting, but they're kind of like that. I will try to like draw them just <laughs> to the best of my ability. Which is not the, uh, the best, Sally. You know, something I didn't see before is around here, it looks like the wing kind of goes in a bit before it comes back down. And I kind of drew it as a solid form when it should have been a bit more broken up. I also just realized that um, a little bit of the end of the uh, hind wings are cut off in the image. 
It's still a great image, by the way. I mean, there's so much moth to capture. Perhaps I should have made the ball of the head a little bit smaller. It looks like we could see two feet. Um, if you look here, like we can see two of its legs up front. They're very subtle and I didn't see them initially. I mean, clearly they're a lot more, or they're a lot longer than we could uh, see. But they are there. Um, let's see. <laughs> you know, the more I try to fit in any little bit of this uh, detail, the more I'm seeing so many more mistakes I've made. <laughs> yeah, very, very frustrating. I. I tended to uh, overestimate certain things, made things certain, certainly smaller, other things too big, other things not coinciding in the right areas, even a little bit of certain parts left out by accident. Goes to show I really lack the uh, drawing of wingspans. But yeah, you know what? I wanted to go further, but I'm thinking of maybe leaving it here because I feel like I'm just not doing justice to the wing structures. But drawing wings is something I definitely uh, plan to do in the near future. So do keep a lookout for that because I know there's a lot of complexity and a lot of fine detail. You know, it's kind of weird. Perhaps I'm drawing too zoomed in but um, I think to a large extent, I can probably have a little more accuracy using some of the traditional tools I have. And I could see butterflies and moths being something that many people would want to uh, draw, considering that that always appears to be the thing that I usually uh, see in art. The other thing is I'm seeing two things here. Perhaps those are like how the wings connect. It could be like the, around the ball. Like usually when wings connect to the body, they have this um, interesting structure to help reinforce the attachment. I mean, not to, not to think of um, the bugs like, uh, like machinery or anything, even though I do make comparisons. I feel like I'm also seeing some banding around the uh, abdomen. I could be wrong on that. That's just what it kind of looks like to me. The other thing is there's a lot of hair on um, on this moth and it's a bit difficult to depict it. Moths in general appear to be a bit hairy. I don't want to go into that detail because I feel like I'm just gonna get it <laughs> wrong. But heck, at least I tried with a lot of it. But yeah, I hope this uh, video helped you out a lot. I really don't like delving too much in the detail because whenever I start doing it, I'm able to point out all of the uh, structural or gesture mistakes I made along the way. I hope this video was a little bit helpful to some of you. And the more I look at the image, the more I'm seeing certain things I didn't see before. <laughs> But yeah, I hope this uh, helps. If you like the video, please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you have a question, please uh, ask in the comments. I think I also underestimated this connection where the wings connect, this area right here. Ah, uh, really frustrating. But yeah. Alrighty, thank you very much for listening. Bye.